Hey traders, so let's talk a little bit of Bitcoin because she's getting a little bit jumpy here as we're almost approaching uh, seven, uh, 18,000. Um, you know, we've uh, <laughs> we've increased a little bit this uh, this rally back in here. I mean, uh, right. Good thing we didn't short uh, up into those levels without any confirmation from price. But we'll watch what happens here because, um, you know, things are getting a little bit of a little bit, a little bit frothy. I know uh, there is uh, was quite an excitement today in the markets as well. And, you know, uh, that like likelihood of a return back to the good old days of, of uh, you know of rallying of the risk assets but I think it's a little bit premature so we'll we'll go through the counts and see kind of what's going on uh, we definitely have the CPI tomorrow uh, this thing could continue to explode higher maybe go towards 19k who knows uh, I, I doubt they're gonna be able to pass through this heavy supply that easily which rests at about 18,000 eight, um, 80 to 90,000 there all the way up to 20 so uh, you know definitely an interesting move and a powerful move in here but I don't think it's anything to be too excited about so let's see what the counts are saying I'm looking still looking here at the monthly charts uh, we still have you know obviously about 20 days to go into this month uh, if it manages to close back towards 20,500 I think that's a positive development uh, and that would be again somewhere up into this neighborhood if you look at the weekly chart so definitely you have to create this uh, uh you know uh, how they used to call that like the BART type of price action right where uh, but this is almost like an inverted BART right that you you push back up towards 20,800 so we'll we'll watch these in here again I, I don't want to get uh, you know too excited just yet but let's see what the counts are saying so I'm going to go to the floating I've been working uh uh, you know, on a little bit of a bullish development, and I also wanted to kind of draw your attention to what's going on in here uh, on the decline. So overall, we're looking at this decline to continue in a one, two, three, four, um, and then you know, uh, with the move lower in another fifth wave. Uh, now, if this fourth wave ended up right there at about twenty-five thousand to fourteen. That means that everything that happens below that, it's part of this fifth wave intermediate, and it goes as a wave one and a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and then a wave five. Now, um, on this prospect with the wave four terminated there, that meant that this would have been a wave one impulse down, and then whatever happens here, it's an ABC for a wave two. So you would go, right, this is the top of the fourth wave, that's an impulse down, you go up in an AB, and then, you know, we gave the C wave a few chances in here to start to stop and return, and it continued to push. Now, uh, until 18.385 gets taken out, this could still be a C wave. It would be quite awkward, and I don't have a high degree of confidence uh, that it is a C wave and part of a second wave, but I do have something alternate that could work out and the structure could still be uh, on a kind of a bearish trajectory in here, right? So I, this, you're already above the 78.6, you're getting very close to 88.7%. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty big move. It's a pretty large move if you look from this low to this high. Uh, you know, something that I was concerned about and talked in pre prior videos that I think it's getting a little bit too, 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 too large uh, to be a second wave. So let's see kind of how that would, uh, uh, you know, kind of how, how uh, another uh, kind of bearish possibility will, will be able to kind of develop in here. Because, uh, again, if this is an ABC, then this is, you know, shortly we should have the top and not exceed, obviously, 18,385 and then start to, uh, uh, push lower. And if we do, you know, if we're not, if we're not able to manage through tomorrow's CPI and push above these levels and you're creating some kind of a reversal pattern out of here and you start to break below 17K on the strand line, then you know that's very likely that there was an ABC up and you're pushing lower. If you climb above this 18,385, then what are the alternate scenarios and still be bullish well you would have to delete this as a wave one and this entire decline so i'm going to delete that and then i'll revert it uh in there right and then that means that this fourth wave um you know it, this was under the leading diagonal scenario where you have a one two three four so fourth wave it's smaller than two in the leading diagonal and instead it becomes a regular uh, imports a regular motive and this still develops and before I talk about that let me just kind of show you quickly uh, um, kind of something here that I've noticed uh, in 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 uh, and maybe I have to go to a 12 hour to kind of show you this uh, and, and I'm gonna get my marker here so um, look at this decline 
Uh, so let's say that that was our fourth wave, original fourth wave, right? This is the other fourth wave that we have. Follow with me. Uh, this is the first decline that we had in a wave one. This is the first decline that we've had here. Okay. Then, um, you know, then you went up in this wave A like this, and then you went sideways for a while. So you have that at the smaller rate, and then you're pushing lower like that, which is exactly kind of what happened here. And then you had the squeeze higher that completed this wave too, and now you're having a squeeze higher. Uh, so the structures here are looking very similar, uh, just at the smaller degree, right? So almost like you're talking about those fractals uh, that are manifesting themselves almost exactly like uh, the structure here, manif actually from, from this top, like the structure manifested. So go ahead and check that out because I think it's a definitely, uh, you know, an interesting setup when you compare, you know, this structure back here with this back there. Uh, but going to a smaller time frame, let me go to an eight hour. Uh, if we're moving the shift, if we're shifting this fourth wave to the downside, to the, to, to the right side back there. Um, now, this could be a wave A in here. And I'm going to do that here really quickly. I'm going to go and grab my correction. And right, so that's, that's an impulse. So you go up in A, you got an A, B, C down, B, and then up in C. So if you're taking, uh, this A wave just by a couple of points up in an 18385, let's say that's to, to tomorrow CPI, you're printing, uh, you know, let's say 18.5 or 18.6, right? You're just going back into the supply zone. Uh, that could be this wave uh, uh, C. Now, the trick here is that you need to stay um below and i'm going to kind of uh, get rid of this you need to stay below 18527 because that is the orthodox low of the wave one if we're looking at this as a wave two of a flat right so uh you're going up in a down in b and then up in c or just a simple uh just a simple uh zigzag pattern i think we've looked at right a, a triangle b and then up in c so let me go to a 12 hour back and you know, that's how the structure will look, you know, one, two, three, four, and then five. Could it still be, um, you know, a leading diagonal? I guess you could still have it. Uh, let me just do a time fib on this, uh, time analysis 4v2. And I'm going to push it up. So you're getting to equality would be, uh, about a hundred percent of this, it would come on uh, January 19. So another, you know, seven, eight days of a rally, um, to kind of stay in a fourth wave to be equal or smaller than wave two, because that's what happens in a leading diagonal. You would have, uh, I'm sorry, an ending diagonal. You, you have that kind of contracting variety and, uh, you're basically going like this. You have your wave one, your wave two, your wave three, your wave four is smaller and then you have your wave five, right? So usually, um, you know, this fourth wave in here, right? This back there, it's smaller than wave two. And, and, and this is kind of what would have to happen. This fourth wave, you know, uh, would need to stay below uh, before this kind of hundred percent term uh, finishes up, right? 78.6 or, or, you know, 80 or 90% or something like that. That's the, that's the ideal kind of textbook, you know, in here. But I think, um, you know, so both scenarios are still valid. If you're getting into the wave one territory, right, then you're still, uh, you know, you're still fairly okay. Uh, one thing that we might have to change in case of an, uh, of, of an ending diagonal, you would have to go here and switch this wave A, this wave one back to the slow, because you need to have a three wave move, right? You have an ABC here for wave three, and you need to have an ABC here for wave one, all these structures have to be and then this becomes a complex move, maybe a WXY uh, in a wave two, right, which which shrinks the wave two, you know, and, and makes this fourth wave a little bit problematic. So hopefully you're following here. Uh, but that's the two scenarios. Either the ending diagonal continues, uh, you know, or we're doing a regular decline here, you know, one, two, three, four, and we got to finish off, you know, without getting into the 18, 527, uh, which means that, you know, you can only get a few points, maybe a hundred points. That would be 485, a hundred and 
you know, roughly about a hundred points, a hundred dollars above this eighteen thirty, maybe eighteen four eighty five, something like that in the C wave, uh, to to remain below the wave one low, and then once you finish that, right, then you're getting the next uh, uh, leg lower in this uh, wave five. Okay, uh, the other bear scenario that you can still have here, it is, um, you know, if you're looking at this, uh, and this could still be on the bullish side, so that's why you need a lot more, I think, evidence from price to convince you that a low is in place, and that is uh, wave 4 terminated back here, right, like we've had it, uh, and, and uh, you know, it, it's coming like that. Right, that's our fourth wave in there that kind of finishes off in this, uh, you know, WXY formation. And then this is wave one of five. And this is an ABC in a wave two that allows it to go a little bit more, you know. And then you start to do a three, a four, and a five, and you still drop lower. So, so don't just assume that, you know, all of a sudden all is well uh, with the cryptos. Look at this map. Okay, it's still pointing lower. It's still in a series of, I mean, this blip in here, it's almost nothing compared to these larger structures, uh, in Bitcoin. So I don't want to, uh, you know, get myself drunk here with, with, with plain water because that's not how that works. So, uh, uh, you know, you have to start to exhaust the evidence, uh, and, and, and the scenarios to the downside before you can become a bit more bullish on this. Okay. I can't, uh, you know, you can be very emotional about this stuff and just say, Oh my goodness, you know, we have a low. Let's Let's go let's go let's go it's all good and dandy and we're going to 25 and 26k let me buy as much as possible and then a bad piece of news knocks this down and then you're like what the hell just happened well you were still in a downturn and you had no confirmations of anything yet so uh, uh we're working our way through it uh, uh you know slowly in here and then you know as the evidence builds uh then we can kind of get on the bullish side so uh, here is the bullish scenario where we're going in a daily chart and uh, you're having obviously your, uh, uh, you know, five wave decline because in my view, I still think this is a five wave move. I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty evident. Uh, I, I don't have this as an argument in the LA wave community. It shouldn't be. This is a correction. This is a correction in here. Uh, you know, either here or this whole thing, it doesn't really matter, but you have impulses and you have impulses and they have impulses. So this is a five wave move. If it's a five wave move, it's either part of a flat or part of an ABC. In my view, I think that it is part of an ABC in here. We'll see what happens. Um, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters right now is that we're getting out of the slum in here and we're pushing higher. And the way you do that is, okay, if you have a five wave decline complete in a one, two, three, uh, three, four and five i don't think see i don't think you can complete a five wave move um you know with uh, uh placing this fourth wave in here uh i don't think that's i don't think that's possible unless you're going in some kind of a weird one some kind of a two three a very small four in here and a five right that's the only way that would kind of work other than that you would have to leave uh, you would have to leave the fourth wave up here, not over there. And that would give you this kind of short fifth wave. That's fine. So you have a one, two, three, four, and five. And now you're beginning the next recovery. And uh, the way that would be, it is, uh, let me just kind of clean this up. Uh, we would go, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see. So one, two, right? That's a one, two, three, four, and then up in five. Uh, in here completes the first impulse. Uh, I don't want to go back to the bearish, but either A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, wave 3 uh, under this scenario and, and with the log scale on should travel about 161.8 multiple of this wave 1, which means that this would be only wave 1 of the larger third. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you're starting to finally attack those 20k levels. And, and now if that happens, right the, the the level of conviction in the bullish scenario then increases and uh, uh you know then you look to to uh, kind of start to ride this uh back towards at least 27k if not back to 32 right but this structure here needs to start to form um, as such and, and that would create more of that inverted head and shoulder formation where this was our base 
right and then uh you know back here you have the the you know possibly the necklines like that and then you're coming back and you're spending some time over here and then you're breaking uh back up higher like that so um you know that would be how that would be uh, you know the scenario that this bullish would would get kind of built something like that okay now again i'm not willing to kind of take that chance uh, based on this but if you are you know that's fine i don't have a problem with it just uh you know just be careful here if you're kind of starting to come back and you're starting to fall apart and go sideways and uh you know if this starts to look ugly i would i, I would not uh uh <laughs> you know, I would consider those chances greatly diminished. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. And I hope this was helpful. So guys, we'll see you tomorrow. See what happens. Again, I'm not going to short this guy, uh, you know, until uh, there is enough evidence um, in here that we're finding a top that uh, sellers appear. Uh, and then once they do, and then once we start to challenge back to the downside and things start to look, uh, you know, uh, a little toppy and, 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 um, you know, uh, we're going to look for some candlestick formations in here, some of these key levels. Uh, we're going to watch sentiment and then, uh, you know, it, because if that's, if, if this is just a simple ABC up, right, then the downside should not be a problem and it should take us below 16,326. Okay. You know, a lot of movements also in the altcoins in here, you know, again, just, uh, you could see ADA starting to push. So we're going to have to watch if we're going to get failures in here or, uh, you know, by the end of this week, we can see some, some decent, uh, uh, you know, formations on the candlestick charts and I'll, and I'll try to review those, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow or, or on Saturday, uh, to kind of give you a, a, a an overall look on the altcoins and kind of see what's going on up in there. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you a bit later. Bye. -bye.